Cry Macho is Clint Eastwood's newest film um, that he directed and stars in, which is crazy because you really think about it. Clint Eastwood's like 90 years old, which I'm not saying that as like a negative. I'm just saying that's pretty impressive. This guy, you know, well, you know, I was seeing some trailers for this movie saying well, legendary Clint Eastwood's back again, you know. Um, he's legendary because of the films he did, not so much the films he makes now, you know, um, and he, but it is pretty legendary that this 90 year old dude is still doing this, because there are very few people at his age doing it, um, especially on his side of the political spectrum too, and I'm not here to get political, but I do mean that I am bringing that up because... You know, I saw some pe some weird reviews for this movie where they were saying how this might be a white savior movie and all this type of stuff. I think these people don't really know who Clint Eastwood is. Clint Eastwood is, well, a very, you know, kind of conservative type person, you know. So, of course, it wasn't going to be that. Um, so, like, assuming it was going to be that, I don't know. But this movie was fine. I I didn't think this movie was great. Um, it was it was exactly what you would expect it was, which is a movie that it's about Clint Eastwood, who plays this character, who's really macho, and he's trying to teach this this young this young kid, you know, what it means to be a man, what it means to be macho. But not in the traditional sense, like, you know, I have to, you know, he learns how to listen. Basically, just good life lessons. And that's like, and it's fine. I, I you know, I, I liked it. Um, you know, it's pretty straightforward. There's not too, there's not really any surprises here. Um, and I wasn't annoyed or irritated by it at all. Um, you know, but like. I think my biggest issue with this movie is it is really kind of like formulaic where you've seen this type of movie before. You know, you've seen movies like this before. And, you know, I think that it it is fresh enough, but not fresh enough to where I can say this is a must watch. But it I, it's fresh enough in the sense that if you want to watch it, you will not hate yourself watching it, I guess. And also, the dialogue in this film is very on the nose. We have scenes where characters literally stop. And they say, You haven't been the same since your wife died. And stuff like that. You know, certain things like that. And dialogue like that is kind of how this film operates. It is not a, ver it is not a film that is, you know, super, super, like, you know... And trusting with its audience and things like that. And I, I don't know. I think this was a fine movie. I think it's, it's, you can tell it's a little award baity, you know. It, most Clint Eastwood movies he makes now are very award baity where he's trying to get that Oscars nominations for whatever thing, but I don't think he's gonna get it with this one. Um, you know, but we'll see. Uh, he might get some like technical awards, you never know, but this movie was fine. I just didn't think it was anything super special. But, you know, it, it, let's just all give Clint Eastwood his credit where he's due. 90 years old, still doing this. Pretty impressive. Uh, fun. It was a, it was an enjoyable little movie. Um, you know, I think for the audience this film is targeted at, they will love it. But other than that, I think it's just a pass. Or like a rent it. You know, one of those types of movies where you, where you're like, yeah, that movie kind of looked interesting, and, but I can watch it at home when you rent it. And that's why it's on HBO Max, so yeah, um, it's on HBO Max, you can check it out.